In this video, we're going to be looking at the latest release of the Ubuntu Linux operating system, version 12.10. Now, one of the most contentious features in 12.10 is the inclusion of Amazon search results. If you click on the dash home now and you type in any string here, for instance, I'm looking for the terminal application, you'll see along the bottom line here, purchase suggestions. And these have been sponsored um, by Amazon or by the Ubuntu One Music Store. So for instance, if I actually want to purchase one of these suggestions, I can click on it and I'll be taken directly to either Ubuntu One, in this case, or Amazon itself. And from there, I can actually carry out the purchase should I so choose. As I say, this has been contentious with Ubuntu users who see this really as a deal with the devil to actually extort more money out of people. But if you go to the system settings menu and choose the option privacy, what you can do is you can switch off the search in Dash. So I can click that to off, click that down. Now when I go into the Dash home and type my application, I no longer get those purchase suggestions. So if you don't like the Amazon search results down there, you can just switch them off like that. Incidentally, if you click across here, we have different, what they call lenses. So you can see here, we have the applications installed in our box. As you can see down the bottom here, we have yet more suggestions, but this time these are from the Ubuntu Software Center. If you click on any of these, especially the free ones, then you can actually install the application direct from this filter without actually going into the Ubuntu Software Center. As you can see, we've got different lenses for photos, for videos, for music, for files, etc. So a nice handy way of getting around here. Okay, the launcher hasn't changed too much. What has changed is if you have a particular icon that you use a lot, say, for example, system settings menu here, instead of actually having to pull the icon out to reorder it, you can just click on it, hold it, and move it to exactly where you want, and drop it there. One thing you may notice is that when you minimize an application there's really quite a nice minimization animation that goes on there which is again makes the interface just look that much sharper and slicker. Another change is that Ubuntu have integrated certain web applications into their launcher. So for instance if I bring up my web browser here and I navigate to a site I know that integrates with Ubuntu such as OMG Ubuntu You can see here that you get this message saying, would you like to install the website into your launcher? If you click on yes, you'll see that you get an icon in the launcher here, which you can then lock to the launcher there. And if I quit out of this, you can see I've now got this icon here. If I move it up to the top so I can see it. Move that down. So if I click on the OMG Ubuntu icon, it then starts my browser and immediately puts me into that website. So it's a nice little feature for sites that you often visit, but there are only, at the moment, I think about 20 or so sites that allow you to do that. Things like uh, YouTube, Amazon, OMG, Ubuntu, and various others. So let's come out of that one. If you'd like to add any application to the launcher, all you need to do is search for it in the Dash Home, and you can either go to the Applications tab, or you can just search for it in the window. So if I type in Caden Live, and click on Caden Live. Up comes the application. You can see that it automatically puts an icon into the launcher here. And then I can just move that to where I'd like it. So I'm going to put that above my new OMG Ubuntu icon. And then I'm going to lock it to the launcher. Otherwise, it's going to disappear when I close the application. And then if I now exit Caden Live, you can see. I have my icon already installed there in my launcher for when I next need it. Okay, the file manager, which is Nautilus, hasn't changed a great deal, if at all. Um, one nice feature um, that I wasn't aware of previously was that you can drag and drop documents and files straight onto the desktop and indeed back from the desktop into the file manager. That's quite a nice feature, I think. 
Another new feature in 12.10, if we go to the system settings icon here, is this icon called online accounts. If we click on that, what you'll see is an application that allows you to define all of your instant messaging and communication accounts in one place. So for instance, your Facebook account, your mailer account, your instant messenger, and all of those good things. So it's a way of just having to set up these accounts once, and then whenever you install an application, hey presto, that account information is automatically available. So that is really Ubuntu 12.10 in a nutshell.